Hi everyone, I'm Phoenix Rising Star and I want to thank you for being here today for saying yes to healing not only yourself but your ancestors and your descendants uh, because that's how this work works, <laughs> if you will. We're going to be demonstrating the Healing Angel Protocol with you and so I want to take a little bit of time to explain how that is and what, what that is because some of you who are on the call may not be familiar with it and I just want to help you have a better understanding of what you're about to experience. So, um, <laughs> I'm looking in the chat. So if you haven't had a chance to see the chat, you can click on manage participants and then click on chat. And the first uh, several chats in there are from the transformational team leaders who are um, teaching the online levels of levels one, two, and three of the Healing Angel Protocol. And if you, after today, decide that you would like to have a more personalized session when it's just you and one other uh, team leader, uh, so it's really highly intensive for you, then they've put in their contact information there so you can reach out for them. They're also planning, some of them are going to be teaching classes right away, and so they've put th those details in the chat as well, just uh, in case you were curious or wanting to know more. And if you're on my mailing list, then you probably have been seeing all the information about that. If you're not on my mailing list, then uh, you can uh, reach out to one of the team leaders and they will, they will help, uh, help you to have uh, contact with me or, or share the information that you need in order to have a better understanding of what we're about to do. <laughs> So the Healing Angel Protocol is relatively new. It's, uh, I've only been teaching it for about two years and that's when it came in from the angels, uh, directly from a, a request from a very sick friend. And uh, she just said, hey, what's out there isn't working and I really need something, I need something new and different. And I certainly didn't have the answers, but the angels did. And I've been working with angels all my life. So it was, it was easy for me to hear them and they have really facilitated all of the levels that are now being taught in the Healing Angel Protocol. What makes this different from other modalities out there is that it, we're not teaching techniques. We are not the healers. We are the hollow bone. And what I mean by that, the hollow bone is the place of everything and it's the place of nothing. And when I say that, um, we are everything because it's the divine or it's the source energy that's working through us, but we're nothing because we're not doing anything. We are being the hollow bone. So you're going to experience today what that's like to be on the receiving end of someone who is stepping into the hollow bone. And uh, it's quite a profound place to be. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, you just almost have to experience it to have a better understanding of what I'm saying. But once you step into that place or step into the receiving of that place, everything changes always for your highest good and highest healing. And because we're only working with highest and best helpers in the quantum field of source energy or the divine or whatever words you want to use for that because we're only working with the highest and best that's how we can assure you that your results are going to be for your highest and best whether you recognize that or not at the time when we ask for that sometimes we think we know exactly what highest and best is but um, <laughs> we may not have all the answers. And so we may just be putting what we know into that formula. So what we say is we're asking for the highest and best and we allow for what we think that is or something even better. And usually that's what comes through. Is this something even better? Let me give you some quick examples of what I mean by this. So I was working with a person who was struggling with a lot of physical health issues and was getting very frustrated. And finally I said, would you like a session? And she's a person who understands to some degree what I do, but isn't totally highly invested always in uh, working with herself. And so she said, yeah, yeah, send me a session. <laughs> So the next day I was following up with her and I, I just said, hey, how are you doing? And she said, well, you're going to be disappointed. 
And I said, no, I'm not going to be disappointed. This is your session. So you get whatever you're supposed to receive, right? And she said, well, I'm not better. And I said, well, what are you? And she said, I, I have a realization that it's my medication that's messing me up. And I need to sit down with my doctor and figure this out. Well, that was clearly for her highest good and healing. Because had she just had the symptoms go away, she wouldn't have realized that it was her medication and she wouldn't have been empowered to act on that. So when we ask for the highest good in healing, we don't always know what that is, but we know it when it happens. And as a result of that session, she has been very empowered to work with her doctor with all of her symptoms and to not get brushed off and to, to say, hey, I don't think this type of medication is working. Let's look at something different. For her, that's the most empowering place for her to be at this time. Okay, so I hope that that kind of clarifies a little bit there. Um, I would like to take a minute to introduce our transformational team leaders. I think four out of the five of them are on the call. I, I could be, let's see, there's, I don't think we've got Marissa on here. But Marissa, if you are on here, you need to unmute yourself so I can find you. Okay, and just express yourself. But let's start with Grace. Um, Grace, would you like to introduce yourself, please, to the group? Hello, everybody. I'm Grace. Um, I, I am so excited. I am like, it's like Christmas right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when I get to work with the angels and then help share it with people who maybe have never experienced it or who are coming on to experience it for a second or third time, it's, it's really profound and it's exciting to me because to be able to share it, I... I, yeah, I, taking this course was a self journey, but it, at the end it was like, oh no, I need to share this with as many people as I can, because like you said, it's not a modality, it's, it's a way of life. And it's, it's truly impacted my life in huge ways and given me more freedom to be in my own essence, if that makes sense. So I'm just really excited. <laughs> Well, thank you, Grace. And I'm so happy too that you mentioned it's a way of life because I'm not sure I really expressed that very clearly here. And that is another way that this is set apart from different techniques or modalities out there. You know, it's not just something we do, we learn and walk away from and go, oh yeah, that was nice. You know, it's, it's something we live by. <laughs> you can apply it to every situation in your life, whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're feeling at work, at home, at, in, in the society and world. It's not just as for a healing, a moment. It is for every day. It is waking up every day and knowing in your heart what your direction is for that day. And, or if you're having trouble to find out the answers to get through that that moment where you're like, I don't know what to do here. Well, the angels usually do. So, you know, it's a great, it, it's just, it's just great to be able to have that immediate resource in a sense to help you through whatever you're experiencing. You're so right. And, you know, we, I mentioned about how we, we work with the highest and the best in terms of the quantum field of source energy. And many times that's angels. I mean, certainly they were the ones that named it the healing angel protocol. So of course, angels are going to be included. But we also work with very high level ascended masters or high level spirit helpers, such as Jesus, Mother Mary, uh, the spirit of love, the spirit of light. So what we're doing is we're just being all inclusive in that highest realm there. Because if you've worked with energy for any time period, you understand that there's all kinds of levels of energy out there. And we don't have time to play with everybody. We just want to play with the highest and best because that gets us the fastest results that we are seeking for our highest and best. So thank you, Grace. Appreciate that. All right, Priestess Ayla, you're next on my screen. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello. Um, yes, I'm Priestess Ayla. I'm located in Pueblo, Colorado. And oh my goodness, I'm excited as well. Look at how many participants. Normally when we do the group sessions and the classes, it's our group, but this is so surreal, which is also indicating it's getting out there more and more, which is huge because like Grace was saying, exactly. This is 
a whole different level of coexisting, not only with your livelihood, but, you know, others as well, and world affairs, and just the confusion and chaos that, you know, is so easily entwined into our lives, just no longer is once you learn the HAP. It's not sedating that, you know, we're in denial to that. We just learn how to maneuver through it with more ease and grace and more, um, you know, a way of hopefulness, you know, there's a way of just knowing that there are solutions to everyday problems or, you know, solutions to, you know, situations that we find ourselves in that we just can't get out of or we think we can't get out of. But if we're living this daily, um, we start realizing that your life becomes more peace. It becomes more freeing. Um, you're just in the higher vibrations to where when you do see those things, it becomes more of an observation now. It doesn't become so personal. You don't get caught up in it. You just, you know, take it as observation and you hold the blessings to know that you no longer have to be a part of that chaos. You no longer have to be a part of that world that isn't, you know, awakening to all the modalities and all the gifts and availabilities that we have within us. And what I liked with the HAP and the takeaway was, um, wasn't quite familiar with sacred geometry, but in the third level, when the sacred geometry came into play, that really opened a lot for me personally. And you start seeing like how it really is utilized throughout the world and every way, shape and form. And if you just focus on those things, you really can create a life for you that is just a pure joy, happiness and bliss. Um, do we have our hard times? Of course. However, we're not stuck in them as long. <laughs> you know, it used to be, I remember waiting months to wait for something to clear. And now you just resort to these modules and meditations and you can clear it within that day or with that hour or that minute. It just depends on what you're looking for, how open and willing you are to release. So I couldn't be more blessed to be a part of this, what I find uh, groundbreaking for future energy works and uh, a real solution to what people are seeking uh, just through clients coming into Temple Beautiful and the clients I've worked with for the 10 years and more. They truly are just tired of the mundane modalities. They're tired of things that are not working with no results. And what I love about the HAP is, you know, yeah, it's great to have a session, but when you can learn it and utilize mm -hmm. it in your life and daily, um, not only is it fulfilling in a totality and health, but you really can utilize this for a different way of being of service. And if you can be of service with this modality, the rewards are just immense. There's so many blessings that come with being of service in this HAP. Um, so I, I don't know. I just, I, I mean, I look at all these people. Wow. <laughs> that is great, you know, because you tell one and they tell the other, it's a ripple effect. And so we're really excited for this. Our team members are absolutely amazing. Um, I've enjoyed working with them and literally seeing their lives unfold and creating those things that we set out to create. We all achieved that in every way, shape and form and beyond. So we know it works. Um, but again, you have to live this daily. It's a daily living thing. It's um, ever growing, it's ever giving, and you just have to, you know, stay with it, stay with it and keep focused with it. So I'm looking forward to starting my teaching here February 29th. Uh, we'll be doing 10 o'clock in the morning and um, everything is listed on the website I put in the chat. So if there are any questions or we can be of service of any kind, please just reach out. And thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Ayla. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Okay, Flo. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, as far as it was concerned, I guess it is a daily living. Um, I do my daily meditations and I create an image. So, and I've been working on a 366 day book. Um, today is actually day 99. 
out of that. So yeah, it's been amazing. I've already done a first 40 day meditation book. Um, so that helps clear out a lot of trauma. And it, it's not always an easiest thing to get into that state of love, but once you do, it's amazing results what you do get. And it does learn to get you to trust yourself, trust the people that you're working with. And also know that you're loved and supported and that you're not alone. I know for us healers, trying to reach out to somebody and actually ask for help for ourselves is difficult, even though we're happy to help others all the time. Um, so this is something great to actually live. And I'm excited as well to, to see as many people on here and hope to see even more people in the future. And I'll also start teaching on the 29th as well, since it's a leap day. So I'm excited. Awesome. And I don't know, Flo, if you were seeing in the chat, but uh, Grace was saying you're channeling your inner Leo because you've got these cat ears <laughs> <laughs> rising above yes, your head yes. there. Do you happen to have a big tiger right behind me? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Flo. I appreciate that. Okay, Cynthia, I know you're on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Cynthia Higgins. I am located in Tampa, Florida. Well, Tampa and Sarasota. And, oh my gosh, what, what to say about the Healing Angel Protocol. Um, speaking both as a student and as a teacher, um, the, the term transformational is, is definitely applicable uh, in every aspect. You know, when I I look at our evolution as as people, as souls, you know, I I'm very fond of saying that our dark night of the souls are only dark until we uncover our own light. And that is what the Healing Angel Protocol has done for me. And in in all of the the people with whom I've worked with, I see this happening as well. You know, whatever it is that we are experiencing, whatever is creating that that difficulty in, in connecting with our own inner brilliance, the Healing Angel Protocol has a way of, of gently and efficiently uncovering that, whether it's a, a mental belief that, that, you know, we're not good enough or, you know, oh, no, I could never do that. You know, whether it's it's an emotional wound, uh, you know, from which we're, we're still healing, um, whether it takes place from something in this lifetime or any other. You know, we're talking, going back to even birth traumas that affect us. There's no level of our existence that isn't touched and graced by the healing angel protocol and for that i am so eternally grateful and to be able to offer this to people so that we experience this transformation in who we are is just it's just ultimately gratifying and the beauty of it is is that once we have this expansion we never go back you know and because that's what it is it's it is a way of life, but it's also an expansion of our consciousness. And, and that's what truly separates it from learning a particular modality. And that is not to say anything about, you know, the other modalities, because, you know, all roads do lead to the same path. What I find, though, is that this is, is efficient and it's expedient. And overall, most importantly, it's effective. So that's, that's what I love about being a part of this. And I just want to welcome everyone and, and to encourage you to, you know, to experience this because you will walk away changed, guarantee it. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Cynthia. And I'm so happy you talked to, you referred to the baby steps of consciousness, which, you know, every uh, level, every module that we're teaching is just those baby steps in consciousness that help us to be our highest and best. And they help all modalities, you know, to 
through which we are working to be at our highest and best as we are embodying and embracing them because that's how it is. So I'm happy you brought that up. Thank you. <laughs> and I don't think Marissa's on, but I wanted to mention Marissa. Um, she wasn't, she's usually teaching yoga on Saturday mornings. So um, she is our bilingual teacher. So she teaches uh, in Spanish and in English, and she will be starting her classes in April. So you can find out more about her at the healingangelprotocol.com. Uh, I think it's, uh, let's see, transformational leaders. It might be under take the training and then look for transformational leaders. You can also find her under uh, meet our practitioners. So, okay, uh, just a little bit more about how this is going to work for you today before we jump in and really do some deep, deep and profound transformational healing for everybody concerned. <sighs> um, so I have to say that uh, pretty much everything I do anymore is inspired by either angels or some high level guides that I am merging with um, because that it is that way of life but so today is no different um this was particularly suggested by angels who said you know if you really want to make the biggest impact on the most people why don't you offer an ancestral healing and really help them understand how these ancestral patterns have maybe gotten in their way and because they're unaware of them they're so deeply buried they're so subconscious um, people probably don't even have any awareness of that. So in the past couple of days, I've been writing about that to give you a better understanding of uh, ancestral healing and how that works. So when we have cellular memory, which is a record of all of our experiences, certainly in our lifetime, you can probably think of some joyful experiences and then you can think of some painful experiences. And, you know, our joyful ones don't really get in our way. It's the painful, traumatic ones that get in our way because we don't know what to do with them. And we end up holding them in our cells and then they affect our law of attraction. So when we have pain and suffering, that's what we're broadcasting out there. And what we're broadcasting out there then attracts more of the same types of circumstances that created it in the first place, unless we know how to heal that cellular memory. Well, it also works for past lives when we have brought things in from other lifetimes. Uh, we may be broadcasting unconsciously from that pain and trauma from those past lives. And then we can't figure out why we keep attracting the same set of circumstances to us that it's not working. And we feel like we've done everything we can to change it. Um, so in that case, then it just, it takes a, um, a little different awareness or understanding that can come to you through the Healing Angel Protocol in being aware, open and able to say yes to just healing the past so that you are filled with divine grace at this point in time. When you are filled with divine grace, you no longer are operating from that same cellular memory, whether it's this lifetime or another, and you are now operating at a higher level. So you're putting out there a different um, energy and you're attracting back a higher level of energy that's more conducive to who you are and where you are. Now, if there's a third element to that, and that's your ancestral stuff. So your grandparents, your great grandparents, you go way back, it can go back generations after generations after generations of thoughts, experiences, beliefs, even pesticides, heavy metal toxicity, all kinds of things that can get stored in your DNA and simply get passed down. And here you are, you're the recipient of all that DNA from all your ancestors. So if your ancestors were having a really hard time in their life and they just felt like, boy, there's never going to be enough food. There's never going to be enough to provide for my family. Uh, all I do is work and I don't get enough and life is hard and it's never going to get any better. If that's where they're coming from, that has been passed down through all the generations and it's now in you and you may be seeing some elements of that in your life. You may be experiencing things like just sudden little thoughts or feelings that you're not even aware of saying to yourself, things like, oh, 
that never works for me, or that's, I never have enough money. Why am I so broke all the time? I can't get any clients. Nobody wants to work with me. All those things, all those beliefs, all those sayings that we express to ourselves are merely just the frustration of the underlying belief of lack and limitation, right? And it didn't start with you. You're just expressing what has come through you, right? Now, lack and limitation can also lead to feelings of unworthiness. I'm not good enough because I work all the time, but I'm not making any money. So I must not be good enough. I must not know this well enough. I must not be able to do this well enough. So you can see how all of these three things, lack, limitation, and unworthiness are all intertwined and they may not have started with you. Certainly things in your lifetime may have contributed to that, but it didn't start with you. So when we're doing a healing angel protocol, what we do, we just open it up to the highest and best. We become that hollow bone. We invite in the highest level spirit helpers to go back in time and start healing the very origin of this pain, trauma, lack, limitation, unworthiness, and to heal it forward through each subsequent generation up until you And when you're healing it, then that means your descendants are healed from it as well. Whether you have literal children in this lifetime, or it would be a future incarnation that you might choose to take on this planet or any place else. So it's healing everything, all generations, right? That's what's so important here. When you heal lack, limitation, and unworthiness to the degree that you are able to do that today, then you are going to start seeing immediate results. And I give an example of um, someone who had just watched the webinar I had done where I talked about this. Just talking about it initiates a healing. I just have to let you know that. So if you're starting to sweat or if you're starting to feel chills or if you feel goosebumps or you feel really sleepy, these are just, these are just reactions to the healing that has already started just by our mentioning it, okay? But someone on the webinar wrote me immediately afterwards and said, I had such an epiphany. My mother had grown up in the depression. There was never enough. We always had to hoard. We always had to hold things back. We always had to save things. And she said, I realized how I have allowed that belief to carry over into my practice where I never felt like I had enough clients and I couldn't put myself out there in a bigger way. And I, I couldn't create a bigger platform because, you know, I, I was always holding back in my life. She said, so, and that was just one generation past. And she said, but through what you had shared in that webinar, I felt like I, And with that epiphany, I felt like I was able to move forward and really make a big change in my life. And sometimes just one epiphany is all it takes to make a whole lot of healing. Sometimes that's only the first step of a whole lot of healing. So it just depends. We're all in different places with this and we've all had different experiences in this lifetime. Plus who knows where it started? You know, if it started 20 generations ago, then there's a lot more healing that probably needs to happen than if it only started two generations ago. We're all different and you're all going to receive exactly what is for your highest and best today, no matter what that looks like. So just be open to that. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to guide you and we're going to turn off our videos just because I think everybody can go into a deeper sense of receiving when we're not distracted visually. And so I'm going to guide you into a place of unconditional love to the best of your ability. This is how we start everything because that's what initiates the healing, right? So from that place of unconditional love, then the team leaders, the transformational team leaders and I will be stepping into the hollow bone state. And I'll start by just kind of sharing with you what helpers have come in that I'm perceiving and what they are sharing for me to share with you as to what they are doing. Because I'm not doing anything, the team leaders are not doing anything. All we're doing is being the hollow bone. And then after I've shared what 
feels like I'm supposed to be sharing, then I'll turn this over and I'll start calling out the team leaders one by one to share what they're getting. Because sometimes when you hear it, as well as you're feeling it, sensing it, knowing, experiencing it, it makes far more sense to you. Much of what we do comes in through a heart-to-heart -heart transmission. That means there are no words for this. You feel it, you sense it, you know it, and you go, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't have words. You may not have words today. The words will come. They're just, when it's heart to heart, it's coming into a different level of consciousness than what your brain is operating on. So it takes the brain a little bit longer to have an understanding of what's coming in. So just be with that. If you don't, if you're not sure what's going on, don't worry about it. Chances are there's a lot going on and you will have that understanding, those epiphanies, those awarenesses, those insights within 24, 48, sometimes 72 hours. That's not a lot of time really. So just be relaxed with it. The other thing that can happen immediately after the healing is completed is that you're going to feel like so sleepy. You just can barely make it to the couch or to the bed or whatever to just go have a power nap. Give that to yourself because that helps the integration. If you put it off and you're trying to do too many other things, you're simply distracting the integration process and it will take a little longer for you. So give yourself the power nap if you feel like you need it. And please do not be driving or operating heavy machinery while you are listening to this, <laughs> whether it's on the recording or live. You really need to give this to yourself in a complete way and focus on you receiving which can be really hard if you're an intuitive healer or if you're in the healing arts at all because we're great givers, but you're here because there was a part of you that said, I need this. So please give it to yourself full on. Okay, wow. Um, thank you, Cynthia, for adding that about the epigenetics. Yes, and epigenetics is one of Cynthia's specialties. So I really appreciate the fact that she's adding this in. Oh, yeah, I think we go. <laughs> I think we're feeling the energy. <laughs> okay, would any of the team leaders like to add anything to what I've said? So um, before we start, if if so, just unmute yourself. No. Okay. All righty. So here we go. We're going to turn off our videos, but you'll still hear our voices. Excellent. All right, good. So I just invite you to get comfortable in a place that like you don't mind holding that position for maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe longer. Um, I never know how long it's going to take. It's not up to me. It's up to the divine. It's up to source energy and it will be perfect. <laughs> so just get comfortable. And maybe you're sitting or maybe you're lying down. It really doesn't matter. And if you find yourself going to sleep during this, that's okay too. That just means you're having a very deep experience. If you sit up, you may not go to sleep, but you may feel like you're in kind of a twilight zone where you're hearing my voice or you're hearing other voices, and you really could care less what anyone is saying. And that's okay too. Really allow yourself to receive this. This is for you. This is for your ancestors. This is for your descendants. And this is how we change the world. So thank you for doing this. So I invite you to go to a place that we call your energetic heart space. And this is a literal place, right? Behind your physical heart. It's a tiny sacred space. And it holds all of your experiences as well as all your answers. Everybody has one. 
and everybody knows intuitively where that place is. So just place your awareness there as you begin to open up all of your senses to see, sense, feel, know, hear, smell, taste, anything that you need that would give you more information. In our sacred heart space, sometimes people will see this more as a temple or a sanctuary or a special room. Others might see it as a cave or sitting around a fire under the stars. And there's so many other ways to perceive it. You may not see anything at all. You may just have a sense or a knowing or a feeling. It usually has a hush of profound silence, but it can also have water trickling or fire crackling. So just allow this sacred space to be what it is for you. And as you find yourself there, just allow your breathing to become slow and rhythmic at a rate that works for you. That signals your body for change and meditation and transformation. And to the best of your ability, I invite you to begin thinking and feeling feelings of unconditional love. And if you're lucky enough to have experienced a relationship in which you felt that, then just remember what that's like to feel that way. Because maybe you had a, a favorite aunt or uncle or grandparent or close friend in which you felt those feelings. Maybe you had that relationship with an animal, a four-legged, like a cat or a dog or a horse or a goat. But some people also feel it through fish or iguanas or chickens. All life is sentient. And if so, if you've had that experience, then just remember those feelings. Or maybe you had a huge spiritual epiphany at some point in your life. It just changed you for forever. And just allow those feelings to come in, the wondrous feelings. Or maybe you had an experience where you were in nature and it was just you and the trees and the bushes and the water and the soil and the air and you felt so connected to all life everywhere. And if none of those, if you can say, oh no, none of those really work for me. Maybe you have a favorite chant or a favorite phrase that will help you to feel those feelings. Sometimes just saying love and gratitude over and over again will help. Or maybe namaste. Or whatever, whatever works for you. To the best of your ability, begin generating those feelings of unconditional love through your remembrance. And what happens with love is when we invite it in, it just starts filling to overflowing because love won't be denied. It comes in and it comes in and it comes in and it comes in. So pretty soon that whole sacred heart space is filled to overflowing with love. And when it overflows, it's going through your entire physical body. Just like when you pour water into a glass it starts at the bottom and it goes up to the top. Well, same thing here. It's starting at the bottoms of your feet 
and it's filling you completely to the top of your head with unconditional love and it's touching all parts of you with this love which initiates the healing right there And as this love is filling you up to the top of your head, it's overflowing into your energy field. And for our intents and purposes, we're working with four different layers of the energy field, beginning with your physical layer, which is a memory of all your physical experiences. And again, you're feeling from the bottom of this layer all the way up to the top, as every part of you is being touched with this love, helping to initiate a healing wherever you need it. And as that reaches the top of your spiritual layer, it overflows into your emotional layer, which is a memory of all your, your emotions, the good ones, the happy ones, as well as the painful traumatic ones. And as that love is filling your emotional layer, it's touching all those wounded parts and any parts that need more love, initiating that healing. Filling to overflowing into your mental layer, which is a memory of all your mental belief systems, those that work for you and those that maybe don't work so well, or maybe they used to work, but they maybe don't work so well for you now. So anything that needs more love in your mental layer is receiving it as you are filling with unconditional love. Filling to overflowing until you are sending this love into the spiritual layer which is a record of all lifetimes, all experiences, all blessings. And everything is being touched with love. And now, as this fills up, it's like you are entirely enclosed in this warm cocoon of unconditional love. And it feels so good, so relaxing, so comforting. You probably just want to stay in that place forever. And this is a place you can come back to. Anytime you choose. Just by your own choice, intention. But we're going to do a little bit more. So from this place of love, we're inviting in your spiritual helpers for today, for your ancestral healing. Now, if you are used to this, you may have a sense of who is here for you. You may have some favorite angels or ascended masters or highest level spirit helpers that you're already very familiar with. Maybe you see them, maybe you sense them, maybe you just know that they're there. And many times we have a sense that there are spirit helpers, but we don't know who they are. So just go into your heart, make sure that your heart feels good about it. And just welcome them with love. You'll feel their love coming towards you. And so just take in that love into your heart. And when you're ready, just send it back to your helpers. And they're going to take that love in because love is everything. Love is everything. Take it in and they send it back to you. And now it's like amplified. So woof, now you're really feeling the deliciousness 
or sensing it or knowing it. And then you just send it back and it's being received. And it's this wonderful connection of love that helps you to feel secure with the support and the healing and the insights and awarenesses that they're going to be sharing with you today. And some of you will be able to get it very directly and others of you will be receiving it through maybe one of the insights or awarenesses through one of us. And it's all perfect. And again, remember, there may not be any words today. Maybe the words will come later. So for me, who I am sensing the most right now is Archangel Michael. And he's taking you by the hand, each of you. <laughs> he, and he just kind of replicates himself. So it's like just the two of you. And you're going back in time. And you're going back in time. And you're going back in time. To the very originating ancestral lifetime. where lack and limitation and unworthiness were experienced originally. You may or may not have some understanding of those ancestors or that particular lifetime. And you don't have to know it or understand it to allow it to be healed. It is enough to know that we're at the originating event and Archangel Michael is assisting with the healing. And if there are things you need to know particularly about this, you will get that information in a way that makes sense to you without having to relive any pain or suffering. What a relief. As the healing commences, you may feel different body sensations. You may feel tightness or tingling or warmth or coolness. You may feel all of those. You may feel none of them. It's perfect for everyone. You may be having some insights and awarenesses and you may not, and that's always perfect too. Remember, much of this is heart language, which doesn't have the words. It just contains everything else. As the healing is happening for that originating ancestral generation, Archangel Michael, with the help of your helpers, will then continue to help heal every subsequent generation with whatever tentacles are connected to the lack, limitation, and unworthiness. By that I mean associated mental beliefs or emotions or experiences that are unhealed and need healing in order to help you be your highest and best. Just allow that to be what it is. You can already feel a shift or sense a difference in some way, even if you don't have words for that. Gently bringing that forward. And I'm going to be asking the different team leaders one by one to share anything else that they may be perceiving through their hollow bone state that would have benefit for you. I'm going to start with grace. A lot of energy. It's been coming in since we started. Yes. Um, 
I had quite a few uh, angels and guides that showed up. First, the essence of orange came in. Met Angel Metatron came in to help support me. And then Angel Gabriel and Raphael also came in to help support all of you. Also, a I don't know who, but a gentleman named Larry came in as well. I'm not sure who that is tied to, but he made himself know. Just clear. Larry. Um, Angel Raphael and Angel Gabriel, they have, they're showing me you, all of us in this circle, and behind all of us are all of our generations of our ancestors, whether they're actual lineage ancestors or whether they're past life ancestors. And as Angel Raphael is healing any physical manifestations of beliefs and um, or thought processes or anything that's coming forward through these generations, it as he is healing you, that healing is being filtered back through all of the generations behind you. And it's really, it's actually very beautiful. It's almost like we're creating this really like flower lotus pattern with all of our generations around us. And Gabriel is working with his, I call them helper angels. And they're working in our energy fields in that ascendant layer and our descendant layer. And any holes or any tears, any spots where there are hot spots or they're, they're diminishing, they use what I call um, sparkle spackle. They just are sealing the holes. They're sewing up any spaces where trauma or a belief system resides that's creating this energy loss within that ancestral line or that even into that past lifeline. And there's a, there's a sense of as they're healing within you, like I said, they're healing past generations. They're asking that you take this healing into your heart, that you hold it into your heart and accept it. Because when you accept it, you accept it for everyone before you and everyone after you. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Excuse me. Um, they're asking that you believe in your own heart, in your own being, so that you can allow that healing to not only go through your ancestral and descendant lines, but because. When you heal your heart, the immediate world around you heals too. It's not just us, it's everyone around us as well. When we have families, you know, whether our spouses or significant others, you know, our friends, when we take that healing and we own it within ourselves, we help others heal too. And so it's not just in the ancestral and descendant, it's everyone. So when you own that healing in your heart, you help others own their own. And they're just asking for you to accept what's coming today in the next 24, 72 hours, because it's, it's going to come if you are open and allowing and receiving, it'll come tenfold. You will notice huge differences within yourself and the world around you. And they're just asking that you just take that in and really truly allow your heart to open and to help emanate that power and that energy and that love that's in it to emanate outward. And that's all they're showing me. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. I'll let you integrate that for about a minute. And just so you know, even when we're quiet, that doesn't mean nothing is happening. It just means that it's time for you to integrate what it is without distraction from us.
And next, I will hear from Priestess Ayla to see if she has anything she'd like to share. Oh my. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt with the HAP, I think the, the most important key here is to truly, truly trust what comes through because it's very real and it comes from something bigger than us as humans, but yet connected to that bigger place and beings of nothing but pure unconditional love. And it's all they want for us. And so <laughs> you get the most random things that come through. And even though you don't understand them, you just trust the process to just speak it and express it because it's gonna resonate for someone. And so here we go. But to kind of just run off of what Miss Grace was saying, yes, the love. The love is most definitely required, important, especially now in this day and age, in this time, just as it was before. Mm -hmm. When I started, Michael came through immediately as well. So that immediately told me that this is a very empowering healing, not only for just each individual, but for anyone who may catch this on just a whim, because it's an important message um, concerning the love. You know, how do we love and how do we start when we're maybe in that chaos or hurt or, you know, the strife of everyday life? Um, and we're becoming more and more separate, not only from with ourselves and walking in our truths, speaking our truths, but with each other as a collective, you know. And so it's going to be very important to start healing on a personal note and then just spreading it. So as I went in, I uh, immediately found myself with the Sumerian woman at the well, but Jesus was not there. And I asked her, and with sorrow, it was pretty much stating that that Christ consciousness, you know, is uh, dissipating. Uh, we've become debased here on the planet. And it's going to be important for each of us as individuals to start creating our own way of getting back to that Christ consciousness, because that's where that love is. That's where the emotions are. That's where all life is respected and has a reverence for. And so when I looked at the symbology and messages, you know, what better place than a well, which is where the water is held. And it's not just for one individual to drink, it's for each person who's seeking that all unconditional love that holds and resides in the Christ consciousness. And with that water of thirst that we all seek is to run on every emotion we work with every day, every day, from the moment we wake up till we go and lay our heads for rest. We have so many emotions on, you know, flowing throughout the day, but how do we really just harness the ones that hold the love and the high vibrations of joy and peace and happiness and compassion and sharing and giving. But why is it we, you know, choose as a collective to hold on to the lower vibrations of the misunderstanding and judgments and, you know, criticism and what have you. So it's very important that we, maybe take that separation from what no longer is serving us or no longer true and just really look at the facts and try different things, you know, try different things that, you know, when you see individuals utilizing those different things and they're in that peaceful place when it can be a chaotic place, why not? Why not just, you know, resonate to that? Because if it's for the good of everyone involved, it must be good. And everyone involved in this session tonight, it is a most beautiful good thing, most definitely, because it is very important that we connect with ourselves, that we no longer have that separation from what we want in life and what we are not so much entitled, but deserving to, especially when we're living in that goodness of love, unconditional love. 
and the angels are always going to be here to help us when we're working with that consciousness and that Christ consciousness, it goes above and beyond to let people know that it's not just in religion, in the people or the individual, but it's as simple as that, that rock that you're looking at or the tree that is giving you shade or the water you're drinking or everything. Love, love in itself is a consciousness. That's what we need to get back to. That's the message. And so my love to each of you to day on this call and to your loved ones as well and we thank you for being a part of this session and we ask that you share that love because that is what's important that is going to be the answer for everything and i love you thank you ayla we'll let everyone integrate that for a minute And Flo, would you care to share anything? Sure, I can share. I also got Michael and Metatron both coming in. And I have an image, but I will share it after the meditation. But what I got was a lot of just letting it flow down your room. You don't have to hold on to it. Let your light shine from within, mm -hmm. and you'll see that rainbow, that joy that you create within yourself, and that there was a lot of clearing, especially within the ears and shoulders as far as boundaries go, and that we're all loved and made of love. So this is our natural state to be in. Thank you. Thank you, Flo. I know that your images are always really helpful. So we look forward to seeing that too. Thank you. And I'll let everyone integrate that. And Cynthia, would you like to share anything? Yes. Wow. You know, when we call them, they will come. <laughs> yes. Because we have represented with us on this call beings from every kingdom. There are so many angels and there are so many ancestors that what they are showing me is practically a stadium that is filled with all of these beings, all of our, our ancestors, you know, our, our descendants, our, our past life selves. And above the stadium, the angels are so busy that I, I can't even follow the, the path and the flight of any single one because it's so distracting. But we are, we are certainly represented here by, by the Ascendant Master Kuan Yin. She was the, the first to come in with her message of love and, and self-forgiveness, particularly self-compassion. And, and she's standing, she's twirling an umbrella, and she's just smiling this, this beautiful benediction upon, upon all of us. The, the second being uh, to come in was, was from the animal kingdom, and it's the, the spirit of the rooster, which is associated with the resurrection. Everything that we put forth in our intention today, everything that we have wanted to release in many ways is, is a way and a method in which we, we die to ourselves. We release that part of ourselves that is no longer serving. And all of our angels and guides and ascended masters, all of spirit and divinity acts to 
fill in that space with love and light. And so I, I just honor, you know, the fact that, that so many of these beings have shown up. From the mineral kingdom, we have the essence of snow quartz, uh, otherwise known as milky quartz. And it acts to help us declutter what isn't serving us from both uh, the the mental and the emotional layers so that it can can pave the way to help us connect with and enhance our our intuition from the plant kingdom we have the oak tree which represents strength nobility and wisdom and and in that way i i so feel like how the you know, the spiritual community is honoring each and every person for making this choice of being here because within you is indeed that well of love and wisdom. And we're simply just clearing that way for you to access what you already know. We have the the presence of, of sacred geometry and it it's not particularly one of the platonic solids, but it's the sphere. And the energy within the sphere is, it, it, it's practically furious in, in how fast it is, it is spinning and, and removing and, and healing and supporting us. And, and, and the colors of the sphere keep shifting from white to blue to pink. So I know that this has everything to do with our, our purification, our, our divine purpose, you know, why we are here, but also in bringing in and reinforcing the love that is here for all of us. And at the, the height of this call, there were, there were 44 of us online. As a, as a sacred number, how this reinforces the vibration of four. You know, it's very symbolic about creating a new foundation, but also four is the number of the, of the archangels, um, how present they are, how supportive they are about us taking this step, and, and the message that they send that we don't need to worry about any aspect of our lives because they are here for us. So this has just been a huge amount of, of energy and input. Um, but again, I, I honor each and every one of you um, because as you, as you grow and you transform how much you enlighten the world. And I just, I can't thank you enough for being here. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you all transformational team leaders. Thank you all of you on the call and all who are going to be listening to the replay. This is monumental, what you have chosen to do today to help yourself, your ancestors, your descendants and all who are around you. Thank you for saying yes. As I'm reading the chat, I'm seeing that uh, Miracle Star is, she's been bed dancing. <laughs> and uh, lots of movement. And that is um, one example of how you know energy is leaving. When you are totally releasing, it can be in body jerks or um, just sudden movement. She, um, since she was tired, she was going to try and get some sleep. So I still have not come in. Okay. Wow. Um, what time did she come in? Yeah. What time did you drive? Okay. I think we've got everybody muted now. So as you are feeling the intensity of this, just be gentle with yourself today. 
We will continue a little bit longer and we'll continue to stay on for a little bit longer uh, in support and to help you in any way that that can be. You'll want to drink a lot of water today because energy work uh, is kind of uh, dehydrating. <laughs> And so you want to replenish with that wonderful hydrating water. If you feel like you need that 10 minute power nap, then give that to yourself, no matter when you feel like you need that. You might want to journal your experiences or your thoughts or draw a picture like Flo does and she's going to show us here in a few minutes. Um, maybe continue to bed dance or take a big walk or a hot bath with Epsom salts. You just honor you today. Just because the call will be ending doesn't mean the healing is complete right th that minute. Healing will take as long as it needs to take and everyone's different in that. So honor the fact you said yes, honor the fact it continues to come in for as long as you need that until it's complete for now. Hmm. And just be gentle with you. You deserve this. You've done a lot of work for a lot of beings today. And the world is grateful. Yes, thanks to all aspects of the divine for sure. Yes. And Flo, maybe you'd like to um, turn off your video and show us your picture. Yes, I can do that. Um. This is the image that I did get. Um, the circle is also in there as well as as well as the star tetrahedron, and kind of like the sun coming up from behind the pyramid is is it the pyramid to you? And the pyramid's kind of like the clearing force, but you can let it just anything that doesn't serve you just go right down the river, and in the end you get your rainbow above you. So I kind of like the image that came out today. Very nice, Flo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. We, um, if, if you feel like it, team leaders, you can turn your videos back on. And if there's, uh, I'm seeing lots of things in the chat. So happy to have helped so many people and that you're feeling the difference and knowing the difference. Um, if there's any last minute thoughts or um, experiences that you'd like to share, now's the time. Can I share something? Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, forgive me if I get emotional because angels do this to me all the time when I'm in a public space and, you know, there's lots of people I don't know and they're like, you're going to cry. <laughs> That's how wonderful and loving they all are. Um, it's, you know, if you ever wonder, you know, can I do this? Is this possible? You know, I'm in a space where I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't feel centered and I, or I'm not in a space where I'm, I feel like I'm in my power. Um, you can do this at any time. And just to give you an example of how easy this can become is that all I've been up all night very unwell and I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do this and or be able to show up for you guys. And, and I was really worried and I was kind of panicking and Metatron was like, do you trust me? And I'm like, of course I trust you. And he's like, we got this. It's okay. And I just had to step aside. I just had to release my anxiety and my brain talk and step aside and allow to come through me what comes through me. And that's how you can do this at any point, at any stage of any wherever your emotions or your mental state is at, whether you're in high anxiety, you're feeling sad, or you're feeling happy, whatever, wherever you're at, this is possible. This is obtainable. This is something that is not just 
when we're centered and we're in our power. And this is something for every day, every moment life. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. And no matter that I've done that, I still was like, oh, I had a little bit of anxiety about it. But you know, the angels knew that came right in and was like, I'm here to support you and it's okay. We're going to do this together and you just need to get out of my way and we can do the work. <laughs> and so please believe that you can do this work. You can heal what's in your heart, what's in your being, what's in your energy fields, and you can help others do the same. It is possible. It, you, you, you can be an average human. You can be an everyday human and still achieve masterful things that you never thought possible. I just really wanted to share that because I think it's really important that you don't have to be something before you do it. You just have to be you and do it. And that's the powerful thing about this is that there's no requirements for you to be in a certain state energetically. You just have to exist. That's so beautiful, Grace. Thank you so much. And thank you for being such a perfect hollow bone, you know? Wow. And saying yes to that. <laughs> Thank you. Any other team leaders want to say anything? I was just going to add, if people aren't familiar with our Facebook group, they're more than welcome to join our Facebook group book. That way, I would like to know personally um, if anyone's having any experiences or, you know, something that they would like to express or share after you know, like, like we said, this can last up to 72 hours. So I think, you know, it's still when you're in that moment, it's so surreal, you just want to absorb it. But as you start getting out and about, and utilizing that gift of healing, you start seeing the pennies unfold, you start seeing the aha moments, you're like, okay, this is what this is really about. And like Grace was saying, you can't go wrong if you're just you, just do it out of love, the purest love, unconditional love, the greatest intention of love, and you you can't you can't fail. You can't go wrong. You're not gonna mess up. It's that simple. And I think that's what people struggle with. That's what I struggled with. Is like, why is it that simple? But why does love have to be hard? I mean, we make it so hard when truly love, unconditional love, it's simple. It's truly simple. And the HAP just kind of validates that simplicity of love, but the rewards out of that unconditional love for everyone, for everyone involved. So join us. <laughs> Thank you, Alev. And um, I'll be sure to send out a link for the Facebook group. It's the, the Healing Angel Protocol Hollow Bone of Healing group, I assume is what you're referring to, the business group. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. Cynthia or Flo, anything else? I just wanted to say, you know, spirit has a way of meeting you exactly where you are. Um, it's much like Grace said, you know, you, you don't have to feel like you're in any special place and oh my gosh they're working on the roof outside so pardon the pardon the noise I get this all the time it's, it's almost like a reinforcement of you know how structurally spirit is working within our lives <laughs> you know all of the team leaders know this you know I go to say something I think I'm gonna say something profound and then there's this drill outside <laughs> Uh, yeah, but but that that is one of the ways that that spirit does work with me. Um, they have such a sense of humor. Um, so yeah, let, let's just let's just say that we're all being reconstructed as a result of this call. Um, <laughs> well put. <laughs> but you will find that how this affects you on an everyday level sometimes it is so subtle you will go from point a to point b and go oh my god how did i get here what what happened all that you recognize is that you are experiencing a, a lifting and a freedom that 
you know that that you didn't anticipate and and i just saw someone say in in the chat you know what is spirit i am referring to all of the divine all of the beings that that work with us so just know that that in some ways you will experience this as a profound change in other ways it'll be very subtle but there's no judgment about how it shows up for you well said thank you so much ah flo anything else um just be kind with yourself because you can have an emotional breakdown right afterwards. Well, and just okay. a gentle one. <laughs> just <laughs> just well, a gentle well, one. Like <laughs> crying it out, you know. It just—it's a release of that energy, but it, it, its okay, and it's okay to just be in that state. You don't have to worry about, you know, whatever daily mundane problems come up. You just need to be and be accepting, and then it's amazing what actually does help transform in that area. Well, and I remember you said uh, how good it felt for you to release the pain because it didn't hurt to release the pain. And I, I think that's what you're referring to. So thank you for that because yeah, sometimes that, that is such a great way to let it go. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, okay. Feels like the energy is tapered off quite a bit, uh, even though some of you will continue to receive for as long as you need to. And I think you probably are capable of driving now or uh, walking, talking, <laughs> doing whatever you need to do at this point. Uh, you can tell just from your reactions that this goes pretty deep. Uh, and it goes as deep as you're ready to receive it. So I thank you so much, all of you, for saying yes today and for helping the world to be a better place. And I'm so eternally grateful to the transformational team leaders. I keep saying this over and over again, but I so believe it. And I just keep, it just keeps getting reinforced every time I connect with them. But I believe that every teacher is uh, meant to inspire transformation within their students so the students surpass the teacher. And I believe these team leaders are surpassing me by leaps and bounds and I couldn't be more grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you everyone and the replay will be available soon. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste, have a fabulous rest of your day. <laughs> Bye-bye.